At the age of 40, Kevin Kelly decided to handle his midlife crisis by following his vision and becoming a self-employed entrepreneur. The result was Extreme Projects, a business that specializes in spill response, cleanups, tanker accidents, fire restoration, and truck lot losses. Kevin's aim is to prevent pollution and potential damage from hazardous materials as quickly and cost-effectively as possible. Let's have a look at this venture based in Port Elizabeth. Extreme Projects is a 24-hour accredited emergency spill response company which was established in 2004 in Port Elizabeth. It has a second branch in Cape Town and offers a broad range of specialized skills. The business deals with environmental issues both on land and at sea. It has a spill response division and marine division and offers various trucks and emergency response products. The market potential was still relatively low when I started. Um, companies didn't have big budgets or budgets for um, cleaning, environmental cleaning. My background is mechanical and I know what workshops are like. So I started doing workshops, cleaning workshops, and uh, as we went along. Then I started getting busier. And uh, you know, from 1st of October 2004, we grew. Today, Extreme Projects is affiliated with Transnet, SAMHSA and the Eastern Cape Disaster Management Committee and has various clients such as the oil centre and PE fuel distributors. We're involved in the petroleum and gas industries and Kevin is a major service provider in that industry. So it was natural that 10 years ago when we started our business we came across Kevin and we, uh, we've been using him ever since. The business that Kevin's in is basically remedying um, spills and environmental disasters. And obviously speed is of the essence in terms of cleaning up the, the, the mess that, that we leave behind on the roads or in the stormwater drains. Uh, our experience with Kevin and one of the reasons we've stayed with him for so long is that he, he has tremendous attention to detail and he reacts very, very quickly. Extreme Projects currently has a total of 28 employees and generates an annual turnover of about 13 to 14 million rand. Despite this business's success, it's had to overcome some obstacles along the way. My biggest challenge, and, and it is still there today, is that there's no facility uh, in South Africa, uh, I've definitely looked, uh, that can actually train us or train the guys up in the spill industry in particular. Um, water spills, land spills. As I said, we've, we've taken on unemployed people uh, and we need to train them in our. So whatever I know, uh, where I've been trained, I try and push over to my guys. And um, to date, we haven't touched wood, we haven't had one injury cut finger, uh, fatality or anything like that um, because we definitely have a very strict policy on, on how the guys work. As part of Extreme Project's way of giving back to the community, it has a couple of clean-up drives around Port Elizabeth during the festive season. It also prides itself on a hard-working team which consists of a number of individuals who were previously unemployed. This business I like to see in growing, but if you see this business was starting so small, you see, we started like in the garage, in the Newton Park, but now it's growing, you see now we have our places here. Um, I'm working here, I'm enjoying, I'm, I'm growing as a person. I started in 2005. So I'm staying here, it was exciting to me, it was a stage, two different jobs, spills, everything. Yeah, I've seen Kevin grow from basically a, a, a one-man business to a point now where I believe he employs in the region of 30 people. Um, he's invested heavily in, in, uh, in, in equipment and, uh, and you know, I think that alone shows us that he's grown tremendously over the last, the last eight or ten years that he's been in business. I, I totally believe in service. You know, I, can, we, I, I, I think anybody can start a business and say they're out there to make money. We're all there to make money, but 
my philosophy is go out there, look after the, the, the staff you've got and look after your clients. Well, I thought that was quite an interesting insert. It's not just any business, it's a needs-related business. And they're going out there to make a difference. And one of the interesting things that I picked out was reacting quickly. In mm. this kind of business, reaction time is vital. Yeah, well, that's one of the key success factors in this business. And Kevin, you know, understands that and, and, and has got it right. What I find extremely exciting about these type of businesses is this is the backbone of our society. This is the backbone of our economy. Uh, 28 people employed by someone, did, uh, what did you say, his midlife crisis, <laughs> and 28 people are living off his midlife crisis. This is where our country needs to focus on building these type of businesses. Um, I picked up a few things in that insert. Attention to detail, um, and I find that quite interesting because many entrepreneurs are sort of big stroke thinkers, you know, they don't think about the, the, the detail. And the fact that um, Kevin uh, has a focus on, on detail is very interesting for me. Um, he spoke about skill shortage being one of his, his obstacles for growth. I see that as an opportunity for him because if he thinks about it differently, he could create that training himself and become that provider. And that could be his differentiator within the market. Um, another thing that I found interesting was when his client spoke. Uh, he spoke about the fact that what's, uh, what impressed him is that he's invested in equipment. And I also find that impressive because too often entrepreneurs that grow uh, start skimming their business from cash instead of reinvesting into capital, which becomes the platform on which to grow. So I think Kevin is obviously a very prudent, um, cautious uh, entrepreneur, which I, I find very impressive. Um, I think if I had to give him one piece of advice would be to start specializing in one particular space right now, perhaps uh, the, the sea cleanup, uh, and start to create his own technology around that so that he can take his technology internationally.